25 years and uh, my part in these years i had taken various different uh, challenges i must use the word challenges so sometimes uh, uh, the situation in the past was such that i did not have that background of uh, that particular technology or engineering and uh, uh, since i'm uh, i was the senior and good in administration administration i had been given the charge from the head of the department though i don't know, didn't know abc of technology so what i some of the uh, you know area i'm not mentioning the name specifically but what i mentioned is that uh, uh, sometimes I, uh, people are so much you know possessive about their research they kept um, things lock and key they keep everything secret they hide so many things and uh, my, uh, suggestions to all of you which are present as a participant is uh, it is true that you should uh, you know keep things uh, in control in safety control but don't be so much possessive and don't uh, not um, don't become so you know your character or your nature should not be like that you are hiding so many informations or providing only half of the informations when you are publishing your work try to make as much data as available you know that gives a good impact and since uh, uh, this plagiarisms and softwares and everything is there people are very much aware so your data will be not be stolen by anyone but you know it will be uh, rather more appreciated if you are uh, providing or uh, making your data complete data available okay so uh, then you know what is uh, important thing is you should write a summary this is very very important um, when you are always writing the abstract but abstract is you know uh, sometimes you have to have a constraint of words but write a summary about the work which you have carried out uh, in a very plain english uh, language write a summary of your work focused on making it more accessible to the wider audience and this will provide a good lead into your research and encourage more people to read your article you could then post the summary to online discussion forums uh, groups and form forums that you think might find it relevant or if you would rather go an extra mile why not put a short video i am repeating again prepare a short video which summarize your work and sharing it through a website such as we share sciences.com or youtube.com we share sciences.com i must uh, recommend all the participant to visit this website where you can get find variety of videos and sometimes also you can get the videos of your area of interest research area of interest it's a very useful uh, website for uh, the researchers for the academicians i repeat again we share science.com or you can also use youtube.com you can have a small short video of your work summarizing your work etc uh, as i said make your data uh, available and uh, uh, this data availability should be you know sometimes you can use uh, uh, mind maps or uh, algorithms or uh, flow charts or uh, schematic diagrams posters charts uh, uh, and then um, photos and um, uh, one minute huh? yeah so you can have this uh, you know uh, graphical abstracts or uh, kind of um, uh, flow chart or uh, algorithms or mind maps so uh, photos 3d diagrams uh, and post it on the 
social media or you can send it to various research groups you know this is an example of this uh, right side is you know the example of this mind mapping yeah it's a very simple way of uh, explaining what exactly your work is uh, this is you know the example of 3d diagrams flow charts algorithms uh, schematic diagrams which we are using in our engineering and technology um, you can also uh, show the actual photographs images uh, charts and graphs <laughs> As I said, uh, you can prepare a video, uh, YouTube, any maker, PowerPoint would be helpful to, you know, uh, uh, prepare the video, pictorial presentation, PowerPoint, lucid chart is a very useful tool. Uh, you can use this for pictorial presentation. It is um, rather, uh, it certain uh, features are better than PowerPoint. Canva is also good. And uh, recently, uh, these new plots are very popular among the research groups. So, as I said, you should be very, you know, uh, liberal in posting your ideas, your thought, your work in the social media. Uh, I must, I don't advise you to put the entire paper on social media as per the license agreement with the journal, but you can put your graphical presentations, citations, graphical extract, even the screenshot of your uh, first page of paper in uh, the social media. And you can simply mention also publishing a paper on a social media platform. So what First is, first and foremost is, let us say, Facebook, you know. Uh, how this Facebook will be helpful for uh, promoting your research work? Uh, Facebook is a personal connection account. And we have people from friends and families and relatives who are on Facebook. And many of which may, may not be aware, your friends, your relative may not be aware of what extraordinary work you've been carried out. Uh, once they know about your work they would be highly you know happy and uh, recognize you and also gives you some kind of directives or some kind of uh, guidance to progress you professionally so you can share with them that your paper has been published in so and so journal and your research field is this your uh, the journal is reputed you can also uh, uh, share the link of the paper but always see that did not write about the detail of your research work and how much the publications which are um, uh, important to you professionally. The second one is the WhatsApp. You can use this WhatsApp for uh, sharing it in your research group. Make a research group of your area of interest. I don't have to mention much about how to use this WhatsApp. People all are aware about that. Third and, um, you know, uh, very important tool is Twitter. Twitter has a limitations of uh, number of words, but you can always, you know, put a picture real presentation along with the sort and URL of your paper and uh, or the link of the paper. The next thing which is uh, uh, very, very important and I must advise all the participant to be uh, use this link in. You know, LinkedIn is a professional social media platform and therefore it is advisable to use as professional as possible. You can mention your work in standard language uh, and ask people to cite them in their work. Further, you can ask people to give critical reviews and go to your paper to enhance your research activities. You must always make sure to put it in linked to the paper instead of sharing the complete paper. I repeat again, just share a link of the paper. Don't give complete paper on the social media because it violates the copyright laws. So this will, you know, increase the visibility of paper, your paper on journal site. Next, as I said, the YouTube is very important. You can put the, your videos over there. 
and there are other uh, platform also uh, recently indian version of social media which is becoming very popular is uh, k002 right uh, which i mentioned on the right side of the bottom right side so make sure when you are uh, uh, putting your details on social media then you should use proper hashtag keywords and url to get more visibility and better reach to the people so as a peer colleague or friend it is requested to share your friends work as much as possible by creating a research group socially it is equally important this is you know a very um, popular um, among the um, uh, professionals it may be some artist or some uh, writers uh, starting a blog right so we talked earlier about writing a summary or portraying your work in your art form but you can use the combination of these two by you know writing a summary and promoting your work as a layman and this can be done through a blog so what is the blog definition of blog blog means it is uh, uh, something that allows you to speak your mind out whatever you wanted to say you can say it out with the help of the blog writing a blog you don't need any technique or writing skill you just gives you freedom to express in the manner you want to express and it is very easy and vastly available these are the various you know uh, platforms available uh, uh, to because to become a blogger the easiest way is google followed by the tumblr uh, wordpress this is a sign of wix uh, uh, and many others one uh, one of the uh, you know professionally good platform which i found is linkedin and um, it gives a very good uh, uh, you know uh, uh, publicize your uh, what exactly you want to convey and i would suggest that you are when you are writing a blog being a researcher you should focus on your research area rather than diverting yourself into some or other details uh, as i said linkedin is very important and i again repeat uh, you must uh, uh, if you don't have the account create an account that will even though you have a very steady job or uh, you are settled somewhere it will help you one on another way professionally to give you know access or to give you some kind of uh, uh, it may be helpful to you in your uh, professional life the most important thing uh, which i found being a researcher is you must register yourself in orchid account right it's a it's an excellent platform to connect the researchers and research groups right and it is always you know things are very very easy it is not uh, registering and all these things are not complicated it's very easy they get gather the information say for example your uh, corpus id everything how many publications all these things they gather it from different platforms and this orchid is being used uh, widely and it is one of the most popular platform uh and the best part is it is free to use and you can get all the informations and um, uh, necessary support and details of various research groups so this is one of my suggestions to use this orchid the second suggestion which i first suggestion was use linkedin and second is use orchid this is uh, the detail of the website uh one of my student who is very good in you know uh, in fact she sometimes uh, my phd she is my phd student and she sometimes uh, giving me a good suggestions related to research work she is an excellent researcher i am using the word excellent researchers so i am just sharing i am i must admit that when i am writing the email i am not mentioning this so many details but my student is mentioning the details so you can see that uh, being a professional person whatever the details you want is available in this uh, when she is writing an email to someone and you can also see that she has not given 
her email id email id is obviously sending on the same email but she has not given the contact number but what uh, in order to approach her for some kind of research work through this uh, linkedin or orchid or blog she is always available and you know the uh, the professional background of that person right so uh, always uh, i am not saying this with affirmity with confirmation because i am not using such kind of uh, detailing while writing an email or sending email to someone but uh, this is one kind of you know a suggestions to all of you the uh, use your research office when i say office office doesn't mean that uh, a, a physical cabin or a desk or cubicle uh, we have seen this last two years the pandemic effect of covid pandemic and we understood that we can work from anywhere so what what is the definition of office when i said research office i'm trying to say that research office means simply a place from where you can work and with the uh, term research office it simply means that a place where you can talk about your work so let us say what exactly the research office is uh you can create or join group pertaining to your research area you can make facebook or linkedin page or join groups these groups have people from round the globe and specific especially on linkedin you can even find your research pioneers right as i said you can get uh, possible all informations through linkedin then you can create a group among uh, yourself and uh, your research progress so the best way is uh, through private whatsapp group where you can even add your supervisors to check your updates having a peer research group is really very very important specifically if you are engaged in a doctoral or post doctoral research it uh, strengthens your uh, mental health uh, you can use this forum for doubt clearing brainstorming sessions or for the discussions and again you are free to use groups from facebook linkedin or internet sources connecting the media uh, you know uh, will help you to you know enhance your research and um, visibility of your research so when you are you know make uh, when you meet someone at your workplace or your organizations or in some kind of gathering uh, uh where say for example you are attending one some conference and there is a lunch uh, gathering is there or a dinner gathering is there so interact you know with uh, open heart with uh, various people so this is the best way to improve the connections professionals and communication skills and we are always cautious you know i have observed that we are always cautious while talking to people at work regarding our research profile so this should be eliminated feel free to talk with um, the people or the researchers who have a common uh, area of interest in fact in premier institute talking about research is a way to break ice between two individuals right sometimes because of some kind of prejudices or some ego issues there but if you you know discuss about your research it is a very nice way of uh, uh, making communication happen and have relations with your connections from as many directions as possible you may never know who would be able you know will extend to provide you the support or uh, extend the support i give you my example like uh, uh, ncl pune um, one of my uh, thesis uh, sent to examiner was from the scientist from national chemical laboratory pune i was not knowing him but uh, after uh, my, uh, after evaluating my thesis uh, he uh, sent me a letter to work for post doctoral work at ncl pune though i had some other commitment at my college i could not be able to go but when you you know be free to discuss with various people area um, where they have you have a common area of interest don't get you know hesitant or shy away so make your research as i said open 
most publishing house permits open access publications nowadays however some features are you know chargeable and, and it may cost you but if your funding agency facilitates then you must go for open access then you must have a unique identifications so whenever you are uh, uh, make sure that whatever the work you are publishing online you use your link or a page that includes your unique identification number that is your date doi or rxv id or P pub uh, med id that will be provided by the uh, the journals to you this is vital to ensure that your work is tracked by the statistical data monitoring agency so that you can keep on top of the con conversations surrounding your research you know uh, we may think that uh, people are not observing or people are not uh, 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 evaluating our work but uh, when your work is published in some good journals uh, there are certain agencies are there which are continuously monitoring the work uh, and they are collecting the statistical data and they may you know invite you or they may take your help professionally or for some kind of consultancy purpose and this would be you know helpful to you in uh, in future also so the tips uh, and tricks i just repeat don't shy away share your ideas and thoughts uh, the second thing which i would like to say that honesty is the best policy never ever uh, you know stole steal the data of others if you are using the data mention or take that permission of those persons um, always you know avoid um, you know the um, uh, the short term plan or a kind of you know gimmick or uh, manipulations or publishing the false results it will not get you know good recognition for a longer period of time so this is you know very very important because if your work is authentic it gives you a kind of confidence and uh, satisfactions uh, these are the various research platforms academia research gate researchers uh, google scholars uh, put this uh, this is you know very very useful tip i would like to give to all the participants including the ritesh sir that uh, when i visited few of the iits when i was doing my phd work because at that time it was not very easy or accessible for me to get the soft copy through internet or through from the internet so i physically went to various iits and uh, i visited various departments um, chemical departments particularly in that what i found is uh, they have kept a separate desk uh, somewhere near the head office and um, uh, the months or last six months publications they always put it on that bulletin board you know that will give you um, not only the researchers the motivations but also it encourage other people to you know start working in those areas in every iit including udct i found this kind of you know uh, bulletin board where they put this uh, uh, it is devoted only for the publications only you can take multidisciplinary projects in nep 2020 you must have seen that uh, any uh, multidisciplinary there is a, so much of emphasis given on interdisciplinary interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary work so in fact that is a different uh, um, area of different uh, sessions required but uh, uh, last and but not the least which i would like to say is use maximum benefits of intellectual property rights right we are again repeating not aware about this uh, issues advantages and disadvantages of this but use maximum benefits of ipr so there are five types of uh, uh, ip that are available in india first is trademark second is patent third is geographical indications fourth is industrial design and fifth one is copyright 
using ip right gives uh, also gives boost to your work um there are eight phd students working under me i have told them very clearly that you your work should be having minimum two patents you should work in the way that you get two papers in some high index journals peer review journal and two patents must be there forget about the university and ugc's uh, norms and regulations come only after you complete this uh, primary task right so this is you know uh, initially students may feel little awkward and they don't like it but later once they are in the verge of completion they feel so much happy and good and um, uh, the last but not the least is think outside the box right innovations ssip uh, startups all these things you are very much aware uh, take the exam, uh, help of our young students young mind and focus on or uh, take the help in the uh, innovations and research uh, friends thank you thank you very much Thank you very much, sir, for this hands-on uh, session. Actually, this topic Thank is you, very sir. important. This topic is very important for the research scholar, not only for the research scholar, everyone, those who want to communicate, how to start communication, right. how to start the literature. That is very important. But there are, though the resources are available, but experiences are very important, which you shared with us. Any question? Please type it because. Uh... I uh, there is some audio issues there in my uh, piece. Type it. So you may start your camera so uh, we'll have interaction. Yeah, sure, stop sure. yeah, there are a few questions, but the participants, if you want to discuss or if you have any questions, you may uh, raise your hand so I can hear you. If possible, if you can speak, otherwise, I will. Please type it, sir. I there is some you know uh, okay. audio problem is there. I may not be able to hear it properly. Uh, sure, sure. Hello, Mr. Giam sure. from Indonesia. Hello. Nice to get connected with you. Okay, he he has written the question here. Uh, how to make our data reliable and valid? Can you suggest me if I can make research about correlation between motivation and student score in mathematics? Sir, what I'll do is I will call you. I will make a phone call and please tell me the the uh, exact uh, question. Yes, definitely. So we'll get back to you. Yes, yes. Yes, what is this question? No, I'm, I'm talking with uh, Mr. Uh, Professor Rites. I'm uh, understanding your question is uh, how to make the data uh, more data. Please again, repeat again. Okay, okay, fine. A good question. Uh, see, when you are always make sure before publishing your data in any research journal, make your data, try to make your data safe as possible. Uh, my personal observation is we may have a kind of uh, insecurity issue, but uh, people are not that much bad. They try to, you know, uh, steal your data. Even if they steal your data, it may not be useful to them because your uh, way of working, uh, uh, your approach is always different from the uh, other's approach. So first and foremost thing is you should see that you publish your data in a good research paper with a recognized research publication. Don't uh, publish your paper in some ordinary or below ordinary 
research journals nowadays there are so many frauds which are taking place uh, some journals which are you know you give some money and they paid your work but this data there is a chance that this data may be taken by somebody else and you cannot uh, make a claim later on so you should always see that your work should be published in some good research journal and i don't have to say that if you want to publish your work in some good research journals you will have to work hard and work with uh, uh, mind right then only your uh, work gets published in some good research journals once it is published in some good research journals you are very um, safe now right because um, there it is there uh, um, yeah, there's uh, also their their responsibility at the same time people cannot steal your data even if they steal their data they immediately get caught right uh, there was a time where the awareness was less and plagiarism you know uh, rules were not strict uh, and that time these things mal uh, intentions or manipulations and stealing the data was taking place but now according to my understanding now we are in a very secure and um, safe environment yes Uh, please repeat again a little loudly there is as i said some issue is there in my uh, audio uh, some audio issue issue is there in my computer yes yes you can have a collaborative uh uh ritesh sir i will talk with Motivation. you and yes, yes. understand exactly he, the question he, he is saying like he is he is uh, trying to work on the motivational coefficient of any student okay. and how we can correlate this into mathematics so he is it is a kind of topic for him he is asking suggestion how to measure the motivation of any student or anyone uh, <laughs> your suggestion <laughs> something yeah uh, i will provide you my email id i will share the different uh, you know uh, ideas through my email id please note down it's very simple uh, sachin parik hotmail.com you please send an email i will try to provide you as maximum uh, guidance and support as possible you can take it from uh, ritesh sir also in fact yeah Yeah, it it is there now. It is in chat box. I have shared the mail with everyone. Okay, okay. Yeah, great, great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Sam. Thank you for joining all over the way from Indonesia, sir. Uh, I I forgot to tell you that we have participants from two time time zones. Some of them are from Indonesia. Some of them are from India. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> very nice any any other question participants okay i think this is very important sir before starting your journey even uh, why i will send my presentation to you also in email sure 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 thank sure, sure thank you thank you very much thank you yes thank you thank you thank you very much thank you very much sir, for your time i know you are too busy but you took despite of that you took time for us so thank you very much sir thank you all of you thank you so much thank you very much thank you very much all the participants will meet dear participants will meet tomorrow at 10:30 am okay so please try to join at 10:25 am so tomorrow we'll have a speaker from iit tirupati and ict bhubaneswar campus indian institute of technology tirupati and institute of chemical technology mumbai bhubaneswar campus so we'll join tomorrow at 10:25 am thank you very much